clean and jerk to to really yeah and you know to the prospect and what, what helps actually the brazilian uh the brazilian is right there at 160 on the start total so there's somebody to push him um i think colin will probably start a little heavier but not too much heavier because you got to get one in for the points all right so now we're going to get things started with javier castillo of guatemala 135 kilos javier snatched 25 last year on his opener and that's a good lift there at 30. yeah and that's a good example of just uh if you're in the a group you get one in uh, Guatemala, another one of those smaller countries, just uh, trying to pick up some points here. I did talk to Phil Andrews, our CEO, um, earlier this morning about point scoring and placement and all that stuff for the Pan Am Games. Um, the first, the top four teams after 2018, so the, the results from the 17 and 18 will be added up together. The top four will get four, full teams of seven and seven, which are a huge, oh, top three teams. Top three. Uh, and then it goes down five, four, two, one. Um, that I did not know earlier. Uh, I don't know if that was decided, you know, earlier, if it's gonna change, but a full team is seven and seven, which is far more than six and four, as it was in 2015. All right, so now here's Kevin Warmald of Chile. One hundred thirty-two. Oh, excuse me. One thirty-seven. First attempt. Pretty solid. Let's take a look at this on the replay. Pretty so, narrow stance. Yeah, I noticed that too. You can see even from the side angle, inside of hip width, and his feet don't move much. Yeah, super fast. He also, if interestingly enough. He looks like uh, the 85 kilos were pretty stacked. It looks like strategically they moved him up. He weighed in at 85.31, but is probably going to score a lot more points in this category. Excellent point. As the depth is not as, yeah. I mean, the 85 kilos back and forth was a great session. The Cuban gentleman went six for six. Last year, Warmold was a 77. Wow. So, yeah, that was definitely a points <laughs> play to put him into this 94 kilo category. All right, now. Argentina. Maximiliano Kianitz. Oh, beautiful 138. Opener. That is a great opener. He lifted in the Rio test event in April of last year. Snatched 136. Went three for three. Yeah, he's two Did kilos 30, above that. To open that yeah. 36 was his third attempt there. And what's good to see here, JP, is uh, even the gentleman at the bottom of the start list here in the A session, very consistent, looking very routine, and off to a good start. Um, we should mention, excuse me, that the high mark in the snatch in the 94s was 145 kilos this morning. Luis Lamenza of Puerto Rico, Jr. Okay. Went three for three in the snatch. He looked terrific. 145 kilos currently is the leading snatch. There were also two lifters. Another lifter did 140. That was... So uh, currently they're all behind him. Juan Soto, also of Puerto Rico, snatched 140 in the B. So we have not yet eclipsed the B session. I don't think it'll be long before we no. get there. But strategically, if you're at the bottom here, you need to get to 141 because technically they've made it before you. No. That's no. clock time. So as an example, right now, Javi, Lopez, Javi Castillo is going to take 140. He's taking 140 on his opening attempt. Ah. Uh, the Soto did it on his second okay. attempt, and it all gets blended together ah. in the standing. So this will move him into second. Oh, okay, that's huge because that's a one kilo you don't have to take. That's right. And then strategy-wise, you wow. take it on your second. That's a good save. Let's take a look at Holy this again smoke. from the back, or even from the side. What a fight here from Castillo, and as mentioned, that will move him ahead of the B-session lifter. Did he go back on his heels? Wait. No, just patient. Wow. Yeah. Well, super wide grip. He's got those long arms. <laughs> Looks like an outside linebacker. Yes. <laughs> All right, so now 141 kilos. Rigoberto Perez and similar situation. All right, no, this will move him ahead. All right, so Perez is the lifter. First attempt. Perez of Mexico. And that's why they're going to 41 because uh, – it's a third attempt, and since it ties on the attempt, you've got to go a kilo above. Was a member of the 2015 world team for Mexico. Snatched 150 in Houston. Let's 
They got an excellent start here to the 94s. Absolutely. Great rhythm. So this actually, you know, this bodes well for better results as we get going because you, when you're in the back room there, um, people start missing. It slows down. Uh, Two-minute clocks. It just gets your rhythm out. Seeing this lift here again from Perez. It does. Uh, it changes the vibe, right, when you start seeing those misses. And uh, you know, even though you're focused on what you're supposed to be you're doing still as a lifter, attention. you still know it's just there's that feeling. And it loosens everybody up when good lifts are being made. And I almost think it has a contagious feel to it. This morning, even in the 94Bs, they were making lifts. In the yeah. 105Bs, they were making lifts. And it, it permeated from the snatch into the clean and jerk. So... Kevin, to your point, this is a great start to this competition. We're now back to Kevin Warmold of Chile. This is his second attempt. 142 kilos. And what's good is you see these sequential one kilo increases to try to kind of, you have a mini competition within the overall competition because every point counts. There are allotting points for the snatch, the clean and jerk, and the total. So even if you beat somebody in the snatch, you're getting one extra point in that particular event. Notice the narrow foot stance. Let's see if he pops his feet out a little bit wider on this one. He actually did, did. move his feet here. Oh, and we jinxed it. We jinxed it. Well, he didn't jinx it. He popped his feet out a <laughs> Yeah, little. I know. But it was a nice effort. It looked like it started to go forward on yeah. him right as he had it punched out. Looking at it from this head-on shot again, let's see if we can catch what happened here. Yeah, he kind of swung out. Swung out once he got to the hips. He kind of for lack of a better term, catapulted it out. Mm -hmm. All right, so now Maximiliano Kianitz of Argentina. 142 kilos, second attempt. He has done 145 in competition. Oh. All right, it's going to go back to the gentleman from Chile. They're going to trade attempts at 142 here on their third. So even with these misses, we still get no two-minute clock. So Keeps the, the progression rhythm. going. Yep, exactly. See here what happened. Bar was pretty close, just didn't finish at the top. Left arm yeah, wasn't really secure. All right, so now back to Warmold for his third attempt. He missed 42 on his second. Ah, he'll be credited with his first at 137. So, still strategically important, because I think uh, 137 would have been further down in the 85A group, and there were more, I, I, I believe there was at least one more person lifting in that A group, so uh, the A session, but what he's got to look at, what his coach has got to look at, those three guys that are ahead of him in the they B They cannot group, forget that B session. Know. So always important to write down the best totals from the B group. I usually write down the first three. That's uh, going to be an impact for tomorrow in the 105s. So. Yeah, and it's at the bottom uh, there on the scoreboard. So no excuse not to know what to do in the clean jerk to try to move ahead. Okay, so here's Kiaritz again, 142 kilos, third attempt. Good comeback. Good comeback. That will be a good lift for Kianitz. Doesn't look like that left shoulder was bugging him. He was kind of grabbing it on the way out. Maybe just a little bit out of position on the lockout. I think sometimes as the weight gets heavier, you get in a hurry and you forget to pull yourself underneath and push up. You know, that third pull, the, the pull where you're pulling yourself under, but also at the same time you have to position the bar and punch up. Probably the hardest thing to do in the snatch. All right, so now we're back to the to Javi Castillo, 143 kilos. No. That means he will be credited with his second attempt, 140 kilo success. And now we see a bunch of, uh, we see two 146s here, and that's exactly to go one kilo ahead of the 145 total. Um, that is the best snatch in the first 
group. Right, um, Paul, Paul Ferrin. Although, if they would take 145 based on the rules, they would go ahead because it was on their second attempt. If it was an opener. Yeah. Yeah. Or opener or second attempt. I can't, the camera guy's the 145 in the way. was on a second? It was on a third. Third. So, so if this you take being it on their your second, second. Yeah. Uh, but they have elected to go to 146, so that'll bring back Rigoberto Perez. And Perez has lifted in the U.S. on a couple of occasions. What was the Reno? The American Pan Open Series. No, no, the Reno Pan Ams. Oh, was Pan that the youth or That was the Pan Junior Pan Am Championships. Where was I? I in was somewhere else. <laughs> well, Perez that was, was a there. Sparsely attended. You weren't there, meet. but Perez was. I think there were like six sessions that whole weekend. Uh, it was just really tough for some of these countries Oop. to get up there. Well, what I was about to say was in that event, he snatched 149. That, that was, was back two in years ago. 2014, no, actually. No, three years ago. But he just missed this 46 here on his second attempt. He has a two-minute clock. Was he a 94 back then? He was. Most of his competitive career, he has been a 94. First time we've really seen him. Yeah, almost all international competition. He's been in 94. Back in 2012, he lifted in the World Championships. That was the Junior Worlds in Guatemala yeah. that year, right? Mm -hmm. That was the uh, Pan American Championships as well. Pan Am Game. No, Pan Am Championships and Junior World combined event. In, that, in Guatemala that yep. year. So that was back in 2012. Yep. Rigoberto did a 311 total as a 94. Fast forward to 2016, well, to 2015 in Houston as a member of the senior world team for Mexico. He went six for six in Houston, 340 total, 150, 190. Yeah, so he's been about that 335, 340 total for four years. You know, and when in, in, in these meets, um, you know, 340 is points. Oh, so absolutely. high strategic, ugh, strategic importance. Uh, so now he's back to follow himself here on his third attempt, Rigoberto Perez. 146 kilos, third attempt. And that puts him ahead of everybody in the B group. That's a big lift for the Mexican team. Um, and for... Guarantees at least a 10th place finish in the snatch. Well, yeah. At this point, actually, at least an 8th place finish. And uh, just for everybody who's not looking at the scoreboard at home, we do have a couple bumps up to 150. So we are going to see a couple lifters take 150 before Damron um, and I wouldn't be surprised if Damron goes to 51 or 52. On base how it plays out. He yep. does have the benefit of being the number 9 Yep. He has the second highest lot number which means he will go last if the weight is the same. Which means he has the decision making power to go ahead or yep. take whatever he needs for the lead. Yep. So we have four lifts at 150. Now here's Jason Arias. Arias and was yeah, the bronze yeah. medalist last year in Cartagena in this class. He snatched 145 on his first attempt. So he's opening five kilos better than his best. Although in Cartagena, a little bit different of an event. It's this, it was the second year of the qualifying. It was the Olympic qualifying. And the top seven were guaranteed an Olympic spot. So people were even a little bit more conservative than they are out here. Um, because the countries that had already p procured an Olympic spot were not even in there for points. Take a look at this. This is a solid opener at 150. Oh, man. Is Unbelievable. It, isn't fall camp just starting? <laughs> <laughs> I think the 49ers could use a linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. These guys are so fast, so athletic. They all, you know, everybody's built a little bit differently, but... Right now, here is Ferin of Ecuador. And going back to Dam. Oh, we did get a bump from the Cubans, so Damron is next. I wouldn't be surprised if he went up a kilo. I really if, wouldn't. If this is a success. If Ferin makes this. Well, even Venezuela made it, so. Ah, good You point. go up Thank a kilo. You. If, if he misses it, even more reason to go up because you put him on a one-minute clock. You're right. Ah. Not an issue. So Excellent. Well, Attempt right here. Excellent display of technique by Paul Farine. So 51 would keep you in the same spot. Be interested to see what the U.S. coaches do. Um, 50 and 51 is going to be the same lifting order, and it looks like they're going to keep them at 50. This is um, a get one in play. There we go. This is obviously part uh, this of the This is US a big strategy. lift for him. Yep. 
Damron bombed in the snatch at the U.S. Nationals in June. But even physically, JP, I mean, he looks like a totally different guy seven weeks later. He just looks put together. Opened with 155 in Chicago. Yep. He has done 160 in competition. He was a junior American record holder. Pete D'Angelo Soyos. No, beat Jared Fleming's junior American record. Was it at the American Open. No, 94. Was it 94? 158. So beat it by two kilos at the American Open. Look at the whoop, 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 whoop. And 150 was the right call because I'll tell you what, 51 might have snuck outside. But look for him to get a much uh, a much better attempt on his second now that the nerves are gone. Yeah, that was That's something of an icebreaker lift. Yeah. Now you can relax and settle into your day. You've got one done. Yep. Now it's you got one in for the team. Now the next one's for placement, and the third one's for you. Um, Started to I get a little shaky there on yeah, the recovery. Yeah, good patience. But the pull was great. Perfect line on the body. Great punch out. And look at him. Yeah, if you're thank watching you. the replay home, he's like, thank Jesus, <laughs> or whatever. Whoever's up there. Man, woman, child. Um, all right, so now we will go to Victor Quinones of Cuba. Oh, 155 Cuba. kilos on the bar, so that means Damron's not messing around. He's going at least for that much. Well, Cuba goes up. I just looked at the camera. Yep. And we could also see from our vantage point the marshal's table. Through the popcorn. That's right. <laughs> um, you know, I, now that we're on a little break here while we're waiting for the Venezuelan, um, just looking at the screen, it's it's great the conversation when I was back there with Mary, conversation between Mike Atone and Piros Dimas, a really good feel for what the kids, and by kids, are everybody's younger than I am, so they're all <laughs> kids, you know, what they would feel comfortable with for first, second, and third attempts. They really had a good feel for what the strategic move was, but also the what right what made sense for, for that for that lifter, especially on the first attempt. Um, for Mary, she missed her last warm-up. And okay. she was looking good, but, you know, it, it was really nice to look to them and, and see an air, A, of confidence, and B, of, hey, this is the right call. Hey, we're so 30 we've, seconds up. We've got something going on here. Farron better get out here. Okay, yeah, his 30-second clock, he's, he's you got know, they 20 didn't, seconds. They didn't catch the Cuban move. They didn't catch it, no. Yeah. And I don't think they realized his clock was burning. So he's at 10 seconds, which does affect your mindset. You may rush a little bit. 155 kilos, second attempt. Puts him in the lead. Yeah, you know, he's down to three seconds. He was rushed. There we go. So that is critical because we're fighting it out with Ecuador for team points. It's very close. You have Ecuador, Venezuela, all in the mix here. And he's a he's a player. Yeah. He's a player. He's got a one. Everybody who's clean. lifting from here on out has a shot. Because one of the one of those guys can put a big clean and jerk together. So these second snatches are going to set you up for more strategic jumps in the clean and jerk. Farron took that bar it. off the ground with just three seconds left, and I think there might that might have been a little bit of uh, a rush into that. Yeah. So, hey, just for you guys watching at home that may not have caught that because you're not looking at the scoreboard, Damron was up at 56. At 55. 50, well, 55, along with the Venezuelan, and they both bumped up a kilo to put – the Ecuadorian back on a one-minute clock. And the Ecuadorian, in turn, moved up to 56 off that miss. Yep. So now so he's got to go up. Yep. Now he's got to, now he's got to follow Damron and Arias, Arias who's from been Venezuela. right now for his second attempt. So now, Yason, good strategic good, good, yeah. move by both the Venezuelans and the American coaches. So now here is Yason Arias, bronze medal from last year. So, so this would. 150 Six kilos on yeah, his second this attempt. Is Eleven kilos more than last year, right? Yeah. Wow. And his opener was convincing. Oh. Strong opener. <laughs> Good patience at the bottom there. It was drifting on him a little bit. But he is fired up. That is a great lift for Jason Arias. One of the few bigger guys that we're seeing wearing a belt in the snatch. Yeah, you've noticed that. Yeah. yeah. And look at this replay. Oh, oh, fast. Great speed. And, then, you know, yet you can't overstate it. That puts you in first. Yeah. That puts the pressure on everybody else. And Damron holding to that 156 Which will is move smart. into second. It is yep. smart, but it will put him into second behind Arias, who just made the same weight.
So this is six kilo jump from so Devon's opener. So this is opener. the second best official competition snatch when he makes it. Notice the positive vibes of when he makes it. It was actually a better pull than the first one. Just didn't stay down there. Let's take a look enough. at this from the side and see if it, it was it balanced. I mean, the, they punched it out. Oh, man, and the speed was there. I was drifting. See his toes yeah. came up. Yep. He was back on his heels as he started to recover. All right, so one more attempt from Dameron. He is currently on deck with this 156. Paul Ferrin is the lifter. So, he missed this on his second attempt. Yeah. So the move may be 157 because that would put him after the Cuban. The Cubans are all out of change. They I went 50 to 55. I would not be shocked if they do that on yeah. that So let's take a look and see. Because that didn't look heavy. It just looked like he rushed it out of the bottom and he was rocking. Whoa, great comeback. Had more time. Looked like he had a lot more patience through the middle and wasn't rushed. That's a big lift by the Ecuadorian. It is. And now Team USA has a decision to make with Damron, who admittedly, well, let's take a look at this replay. Excellent job oh, there. Oh, man. That was a uh, good, good adjustment there. Admittedly, Damron has now rattled off a string where in the last two competitions he's been in, including this one, he's right now one for five in his yeah. last snatch attempt. So the decision to stay with 156. It's probably a good one is let's build momentum, let's get something. And let's not sit on the bench for five minutes. That let's too. Let's get right back on the on the horse. It's a lift you can make, turn around, get it done. So here's Damron, 156 kilos, third attempt. And this lift sets him up to a good positioning in the clean and jerk and builds some confidence. <laughs> that, no. Oh, oh, oh no. no. I see it holding the knee. Let's hope he's all right. Oh, because that was a, that was a little a, unsure. Yeah. Now, well, well, if we take a look at this, let's look at this from the front. Well, we have a really good medical staff, so hopefully he's on his way back over. Or the side. And watch as he recovers here. Okay, another great punch out. His hip shifts to the to the right, and that put a lot of pressure, pressure on, on the that right knee. knee. He was a little bit forward, and he was trying to compensate. Yeah. Well, hopefully, Damron is okay. Oh, man. But that was the right call because he, he looked pretty confident with that, and it was a better pull. All right, so now we have 157 kilos for Victor Quinones, and this will move him into the lead. This is his first attempt. Did Mentioned not look very hard, and that secures the bronze medal. Mentioned Minimum. earlier... Right. Earlier, Arias is back. He was the silver, the gold, the bronze medalist last year. Uh, Quinones was the silver medalist last year in Cartagena. He snatched 162 on his third attempt. Oh, okay. So, so this is a pretty reasonable opener. Very good one, actually. Um, in between the snatch and the clean and jerk, we will try to get some information on Nathan for everybody watching at home. Um, but now the attention shifts to Colin Burns because he is the second lifter here. Um, and it looks like he's in the ready area. Colin looks like he's expecting to come out pretty soon. So that 160 might be uh, a real well, number. you know, based on, based on how the competition is going, and you, nev you come in as a lifter and as a coach with a, with a plan, but you have to be willing to adjust to it based on either point scoring or medals. So if Colin, Colin makes this, he goes into first. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. and, and you just, you, you can then set yourself up for that second attempt where, hey, now I can get the lead on the Brazilian who's opening one kilo more than I am. No, the same, or maybe one kilo. Well, and the strategic advantage, you make 161st, you're in the lead. lead. Exactly. And, and the other thing, too, is that this is not a... Uh, Personal a competition. It's for Team correct. USA. It's Team USA first. And, and for Burns, this is not a weight that is outside of the range where we are used to seeing him open 160 
at the last couple of national Shoes competitions. what he opened yeah. with when he broke the American yep. record. So. And took big jumps. Exactly. All right, so now 160 kilos, first attempt, Colin Burns. Looked fantastic in training. Made this twice, I believe, on Saturday. Last heavy session. Very great, very good patience down there. That wanted to go back. Yes. And that lift, I mean, we've that seen this before. Huge. That was a force of will yes. by Colin. He was not going to let that go. Watch here. That bar is starting to drift back. He's, he's on his heels. And deeper he was into yeah. the hole, and he just saved it. Excellent start for Burns. He is currently in the lead now. Jason Arias of Venezuela is going to... It looks like keep this 160, which will not move no. him ahead of Burns. 161, he just moved. Oh, Arias, Arias from Venezuela. Yes. Wow, yeah. oh, why wouldn't you go to 61? On your third attempt. You got a six kilo jump in the f from the first to the second. Oh, I, you and know. This is I'm, a four kilo jump here. I yeah. guess they're making the decision not to, to, to bite off more than they think he can this shoot. This goes ahead of the Cuban. Yes. So, you know, Moves but the Cuban second. has two more point, two more attempts. And if they went to 161, you then go after the Brazilian and the Cuban. That's right. So this is a strategic mistake. Speaking of which, Marco Machado, who we have not seen, has just made the change to 161. So which, puts him, which would put him ahead with a make. So let's see what Arias has for us here. Arias does have a good clean and jerk. Well, a little short. 60-61 didn't make a difference, but, right. you know. He is slated for a 190 opener, so Arias yeah. is a clean and, and the, jerk the way, guy. The way he's built, it looks like he can... Threw his head back a yeah. little bit. Bought the he shoulders are, yeah, shoulders behind the bar from the start in comparison to his other two attempts. Now here is Marco Machado, first attempt. Looks like more of a snatcher. Nice wide stance and really tall. Collar to collar. Holy schmoles. He's done 162. That's his up. Opening here at 61. Oh, good Snuck fight for that. It. Snuck under it. Snuck under it. Boy, there's no flash there. There's just get on the platform, make your lift, get off the platform. Yeah, sometimes you just get set and go, and you just don't think. So we go back to Quinones, the Cuban. Now, if I'm if I'm the Cuban team, I'm going to 62 for the you know for the one kilo lead, but especially especially where the first one looked. That first yeah. one looked. Like routine. So this is a four kilo jump for Quinones, who opened with 57. Now the big question is, what do you do if you're Burns? Your best is 74. Do you take a big jump Burns and go after sit. everybody? He's going to sit back on the lead. 66, maybe. Go after the. Go after. You don't want to burn all your changes. All right, All right so another good lift. Uh, Burns is going to get called with 64 here. You think Machado has already elected for 65, so if Burns goes 65, he would still be the lifter. Yes, yeah, so 66 would the be the order, call. He'd have to go at least to 66. That would be a six kilo jump, and that would not be outside of a range that no, we've No, because Colin he snatched before. 174 before. And there's the change. There we go. Is it to six? No, a lifter dropped into. Oh, this is the automatic increase on Quinone's ah, 63, okay. two minute All right. clock. So let's see. Right now, it is still on Burns. I haven't seen any movement to the table. Demas is there now. There we go. There goes the the change is about to happen. So they're going to briefly introduce Burns here, but this will not be what he takes. Yeah, Mike Atone is going over to the table. They're either going to go to 65 or 66. So they've got two changes. 64, I believe, was the declaration for Colin. Yeah. He's now declared 65. That doesn't change the order. If he takes it, it will move him into the lead by virtue of doing it first. Yeah. And you know what? You go back to not gambling in the snatch. You know, he snatched 174. Um, you know, maybe if you lock things up, you take a big jump. But yep. you got you got to get every kilo in the and snatch then, for the cleaning here. We're down to our last five attempts. Yeah. And what we were saying, if he went 66, it would change the order yeah. of lifting. But 65... Puts you in the lead. Exactly. So... Here's and Colin Burns, second yeah. attempt, 165 kilos. And it's a four kilo lead. So 
Definitely no fault in the strategy because you go to 66, then you might be sitting for another five minutes. Correct. Much rather take your snatches in rhythm at an international meet versus sitting on the bench for five, six minutes. Oh, oh that was much bad. better He's than the first up. one. And then we talk about that rhythm of competition. And sometimes it's just, instead of overthinking it, it's just take your five kilo jump like you usually do in training and just smash it. And then, then you go for the, ga the, the gamesmanship, so to speak. This was perfect. No, yeah, nothing wrong with that. And Holy if there smoke. might have been some hesitation for Colin in that opener, you know, making sure he made it, trying to be precise on that, that first no attempt, there. that was just the way it needs to be. He was free-flowing, and everything about it was right. And I think just his demeanor marching off the stage there, he's, look, he's feeling it now. Yeah, and then, you know, um, going back to the strategy bit, Going first and making a lift sometimes puts a little bit of extra pressure on these guys on their second and third attempt. And that forces Machado into 166 to take the lead. This is his second attempt. And he is best at 62, and he was barely, he was pretty short on the first one and snuck under it. So maybe 66, he pulls a little bit better, pulls a little bit higher. He did. Much better attempt. We have us a competition. Much better attempt. Two for two for Marco Machado. He He's is the leader, and we are down to our final three attempts. Wow. Three lifters all on their third attempt, and we're going to start seeing some changes that might be Should a little Should you go bit to 70? If you're calling Colin. birds, you go to 70, and you put the pressure on. Because you've already got a bunch of team points. You're one it kilo behind. It looks like Quinones is going to take this 66, though. Quinones is going to seed. That's the second the time gold. they've done that. Yeah. He second is time. They did the same thing on the first attempt. And the second. He's going to play his strength. No risk. Get what you think you're here to do. But, JP, look at the four kilo jump between the first attempt and the second, and now the five kilo jump between the second and the third. But this will move him into second in the snatch behind Machado. Interesting play. Yeah, if you take the five kilo on the second, you take a five kilo on the third. Wow. wow. Although that looks like all he could have made today. And he made it. Where's wow. the down signal? Great. Good, Good lift. Good fight out of these last three guys. These guys are delivering. Oh, man. So you're behind by a kilo. I think you go to 170, put the pressure on, because then you go first and lock up gold. Well, you have a medal secured. Burns has made 65. He's guaranteed a bronze. Yep. You need to build a lead as you're a snatch specialist. He's moved up. Good. He put in 69. They're going to force a decision out of Machado. Which puts you ahead in the card game. Now. And makes the Brazilians use up all their changes. Machado followed suit, 169. Burns to... 69. Will he take this or will I he think go he takes, 70? Well, he's going to take the 69, and he's going to force Machado into 70. That's the way it's going to play out. Burns absolutely has to make this if he does. He's in he, first place. He's in first place, and he will guarantee a silver in the snatch. Good call. If he misses, he will be the bronze medalist in the snatch. It was really good gamesmanship there, forcing the Brazilians to use their first change or second change. Now, we know he's done more, but this is about strategy and, score and points, it, not and PRs. Medals. That's right. Take what it takes to get... A medal ahead. Beautiful. Colin Burns, JP, three for three in the snatch. I gotta give him a little fate. clap for that. Hold on, I gotta be a spectator for two seconds. <laughs> Textbook. His fate, however, is not in his hands, at least for the outcome of the snatch. Marco Machado owns the third or excuse me, the final attempt of the snatch competition, 170 kilos is the weight that he'll call. And if successful, Marco Machado of Brazil will be the gold medalist in the snatch competition in the men's 94 kilo category. And so we have not seen him take this weight before. He has attempted 167. He's already in there with a four kilo PR. Four this kilo international meet PR. This would be an eight kilo international meet Yeah, this meet is PR. uncharted water for <laughs> Uncharted water for Marco Machado of Brazil. Brazil. 
and it went back on him. Hey, Let's you know, take you, a look you, at this again. You force the guy to make one more kilo, and sometimes that's the best the strategy play. played out. Colin Burns, gold, gold medal. medal snatch. Let's take a look at this. He really got himself underneath it, and the bar just rolled away. Just could Oof. not stop it. You see him jump forward a little bit because he was trying to get under it quicker than usual because it's four kilos heavier. Um, must take opening attempts that total out to 330. Yep. So for Nathan. I would not be surprised if they move him down. I just think, you know, when you, like we talked about earlier, he's a up-and-coming lifter. He's 21. And it's his first year as a senior. Injury. And he's so valuable as, uh, as, as not only, like, you know, a lifter, as a person, you know, he's a student. So, so here we go. Start us off, 170. Kevin Warmold of Chile. Warmold did 165 at the Junior Pan Ams. Last year, he is not a junior anymore. And if you're just joining us, he is a very light 94, moving up for strategic points. And that is a big lift for Chile because that puts him on the board. Puts him on the board, and I think if Three. I am not, if I'm not mistaken, he scores more points with that lift than he would as an 85. So that 307 currently has him behind two lifters from the B group. He still has two attempts in hand, but yeah, yeah. Uh, Wormold in his international competitions, he's always been a 77. And yeah, so he jumps two weight classes for points. And the way that that looked, he looked like he had a couple more kilos in him, and a second attempt may put him up two points. All right, so now here's Castillo. Of Guatemala, first attempt, 170 kilos. It and looks like we're off there. to a good rolling start here uh, with these two lifters that started us off so well in the snatch. I believe they um, they went back and forth in the snatch. Castillo made his opener at 135, his second attempt at 140, but yes, they were in their own little the kind of separate competition here and they're going to be in a similar situation because this competition um, these two guys are looking for numbers to beat the B group as well uh, and to climb points Wormold put in a 10 kilo jump does that put him ahead of everybody in the B group does it, what, will. the B group best total is 322 okay so he's in there with the 30 eh, so he would need two more 10 kilo jump puts you at 317 and then you need another 5 kilo or 6 kilo jump on We're your third. Yeah. Toward that. And now we have Maximiliano Kieritz of Argentina. First attempt, 172 kilos. This is a pretty heavy opener for him. Strong looking clean. Wow, look at that jerk, JP. Unbelievable. You can clean it, you can jerk it. <laughs> Holy smokes. Certainly the case for yeah, man. 172. This is an excellent job here. The most I've seen that he's done in competition is 170. Uh, I talked to him earlier in the training hall. He's ex extending his visa because the Miami Dolphins training camp opens up next week. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. Guy looks an out outside linebacker. All right, Javier Castillo, Castillo, excuse me, of Guatemala. Damron's opener has not changed, JP. So that's, so I'm gonna I'm gonna send some positive vibes his way. That 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 means he's, because he should be about 150 in the warm up room right now. So if you, you we still saw have some any, time though, he is. There are a couple of other lifters looking for 180. Actually, the moment you said that, it just there changed. we go, boom. 180 is what Damron is selecting. It'll be a little bit before we get to him. So that is up. He will be up in three or four attempts. Very interested to see. Uh, if it's a power clean, if he's doing one and done. I think um, it'll be a one and done. One and done beats everybody in the B group and a couple people here. So, so we'll take it. Let's hope he's okay. All right, now here's Castillo, 176 kilos. Castillo made his opener with 170. He's following himself after just one attempt. Oh, man. Six kilo jump. No, the, um, the Argentinian one right before him. After another, yeah. Put 
of a battle here. Wow, he's twisting. Two to one. Let's take a look at this from the side. He's Some, fired up. Somebody's fired up. Take a look at this. This was a, a very tough recovery in the jerk. Jumps forward in the clean. Watch his back leg. Does he slip just a little bit as he's trying to And then recover? he was tilting to his right. No. He's Didn't just got slip. that long, got the long back foot drop. That was a battle. Okay. You know, in, 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 our, in my four days here of, of coaching, announcing, and spectating, uh, I've been very impressed. I was talking to the Argentinian coach in the training hall today, uh, whose English was better than my Spanish, uh, as they're preparing for the Youth Olympic Games. I was telling how impressed I was with those two young women from the B group, the 53 and the Argentina 58, has when I did my announcement. Yes, we have mentioned that. And they will be fighting it out for the one, the, uh, the one youth Olympic spot on the women's side that the host country gets. And what he was explaining to me earlier, JP, which is great to see, is about six years ago when they got the bid, they started a schools program, and they went around the country and tested out vertical leap, and uh, I want to say broad jump. Um, they had two or three combine type exercises and they started to build a network of local coaches that would work with. Okay, this is interesting. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, there. Damron goes up four kilos. Yeah, and that is his second change. So 184 is what he'll take. So we that's feeling a little bit better than we thought. Yeah, because that means that he's made maybe 75 in the back. So um, now clock is running on Kevin Warmold's second attempt, 180 kilos. That is a, that is that is a good sign. I think so. Because his his original starting attempt was 188, okay. so this is not too far off. And he didn't need 184 to go ahead of the B group, so perhaps he needed more time. But why go to yeah? Oh, right, no, but there's another 180 on the board. So yeah. 181 if you need more time. No. Oh. So if he needed more time, he's going to get more time because we're on a two-minute clock. Th th this is not a no lift yet. He marched off the stage. He did not get that past his knees. Yes. He could have tried it again. Why did they stop the clock? All right. No lift. It's hard to do a clean pull to the knee complex with 180 kilos. Oh, I got you. <laughs> not sure what happened here. Let's take a look. He's got that narrow stance. I mean, he looks strong in his opener. He did take a 10 kilo jump, though, JP. And that it, it just might. And he be only too weighs 85 kilos. Yeah, it might have been just too big a bite. Yeah, he get, well, you know what's weird is he got it to his knees. I don't know why they didn't give him the red light. Well, we'll ch hopefully he comes back. Here's Kianitz. Second attempt to your point earlier. Argentina obviously making an effort to grow their youth program. Maximiliano is just 22. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He's a bit older. And that's a good lift. You can clean it. You can jerk it. Look at that. Oh, good save. Wow, Use that back jump. leg. Now that puts him about 10 kilos. Well, Gives him a 322. And it, and it puts him ahead because I think it, no? It will, yep. Yeah. It will. Well, they got him down a second. Who snatched that, more? He is. Because the snatch. Lamenza in the B snatched 45, so he reached okay. the 332, okay. the 322 first. first. Although the 177 in the previous was on the third clean and jerk, not the second. But it, now you're just you're talking about total. To okay. get to three, who made ah. the 322 total first? And the answer is Lamenza, I think. No, that's wrong. Oh, yeah, all right, then the scoreboard's going to update. The sco they, yeah, the scoreboard's going to have to update once they merge the results. All right, sorry, and, and Javi Castilla. That's the second. It's the second no lift with not attempted clean. Nope, didn't want it. So we have. Um, that will end his day with a 360. Then we go back to Chile. Total for one, the same weight. Lots of movement here. We got three more attempts till Mr. Damron. Looks like we have a 181. Is that two 181s? No, it looks like 181, 183. Yeah, yeah. Lamenta is ahead. I'll tell you why in a second. All right, okay. so now 
Kevin Warmold. Oh, what is going on? Yeah. Don't leave the stage. You got an attempt still. Don't yeah, leave the stage. I just think, you know, I think he's done. I think it was just too heavy, JP. Yeah. 10 kilo is too that's much. That's a big jump for an yeah. 85 kilo lifter. All right, so no lift there for Warmold. We're going to have to wait for the clock to expire before it's officially a no lift. Yep. Uh, and, and we were talking about why the 322 from Luis Lemenza in the mm -hmm. B is still ahead of the 322 um, from Kianitz. And the reason why is he did it on a 177 kilo clean and jerk, which happened to be on his third attempt, but which married to the 145. Uh, uh, the first yeah. tiebreaker is whoever he has the highest clean and jerk. But he, he made it first. Oh, okay. He, uh, uh, Kianitz needed 180 to attain yes. 322, mm -hmm. which means that would happen after 177 in the order. Gotcha. So that's the reason. Okay, so now good clean here from Perez. First attempt, 181. And that's a big lift because that puts him ahead of everybody in the B group, I believe, and a couple people in the A group. Yes. So he moves into first place. With that first attempt, yep. 181 kilo to lift. He now has a 327 kilo total and the lead in the competition. Very smooth technically. Very nice opener. This is exactly what you want to see for a first attempt. It's a great lift there by Kianitz. Excuse me, by Perez. All right, so now we are running the clock on Kianitz of Argentina. This is his third attempt. So far, two for two in the clean and jerk. Made 180 on his second attempt. Interesting strength. Yes, what is it? Eight kilo jump, two kilo jump. If successful, this would give him a 320. This would only move him up one spot, JP. Yep. So moving into second. But every point counts. Every point counts. You're looking at a point in the clean and jerk and in the total. That was a good call because if you look on the board, the person ahead of him has two more cleaning jerks and um, he did take a big jump to get to that second and leapfrog a couple and of And that seemed to be the max effort for the day. Nice clean here, good fight. Just not yeah, enough. Yeah, back foot slipping a little bit. Yep. Because the bar was forward, so platform just fine. Yep, exactly. So I, hopefully, Positive thoughts for Nathan Damron as he is the next lifter. Right now we have Paul Farine of Ecuador. This is his first attempt. 183 kilos. And he had a big snatch at 156. Uh, so this would put him in first place by um, almost 14 or 15 kilos. Yeah, we're seeing the separation. Yeah. So this, this the, the, the second competition the yeah. begins. This is the line in the sand. Yeah. Well, technically a third if you're including the B group. Very smooth. Very routine opener. It's exactly what you want to see. This guarantees you sixth place? Yes. And All a right, 339 here we go. kilo total. That's quite a bit of separation right. from the others. And now here's Nathan Damron. We saw him tweak his knee on his third attempt snatch. Coached he, by Travis Mash. This is his personal coach. This is a big lift. This guarantees you no, no less than sixth, I believe. Uh, yes, I think. 184 with... 184 and 150 puts him by seventh. Would, would put him behind the Ecuadorian. That's right. Uh, with very few chance of getting surpassed by the people below him. That's if he does not take another attempt. Yeah. Oh, wow. No hesitation there. We'll see if it bothers him on the jerk. Solid jerk. Solid jerk. Solid jerk. Good, good call by the... By the, by the coaches to get one in here, especially after a shaky start in the snatch. And I don't get the impression that is after bugging looking him. At, at this that he's done. No, I, I don't either. 
there was no wiggle. So I think in the, what I noticed a little bit with Nathan when he was training is his hands, for, for he is not the tallest human being. His hands are really wide in the snatch. So if he doesn't really hit his re uh, receiving position perfectly, it it's is much stable. harder on the recovery. And in the clean and jerk, your knees aren't moving as much because your hands are so much closer and you're coming out of a more, uh, a better position of strength in the front squat. And he does back squat 290 <laughs> kilos. So uh, I don't know off the top of my head what his best front squat is, but it's probably gonna be 240. So 184 is, uh, is like a 75% front squat. So now the game begins, JP. Um, I would look for Damron to take a jump to 190 um, or something in that nature to try to catch up some ground and go after all these opening attempts at 190. All right, there's the change, sorry. So now Rigoberto Perez, second attempt, 185 kilos. Perez made his opener with 181. If successful here with this four kilo jump, he will go to a 331 kilo total which will leave him in third overall, but move him into first in the clean and jerk competition. And for the folks scoring at home. Perez has done 192 in competition. They are allocating points for snatch, clean and jerk, and total. Ooh, that's gonna be good. That is gonna be good. Two for two for Rigoberto Perez. It looked like there was some room in there. I think we're gonna, JP, I think we're gonna see a bunch of 190s because we have a, the Cuban, the Brazilian, and the Venezuelan all starting with 190. For now, Burns listed at 91. Those are the four lifters who we are, have yet to and see. And we're back on the clock for Damron. With just um, a one kilo increment at 185. And I do I don't see know. a guy in a blue shirt making a change, hopefully over there, Mike Gatone. It's just written in a change. Yep. Maybe they'll take him back to that 88 that he was originally slated with. Gives him a little bit of breathing room, but not too much. I, I think they might He's got to go 90, I he's think. Gotta go he's got to go 88 to get a rest. And 88 for done. rest, 90 to go after all those other guys. His best clean and jerk is 200. Damron official. 360 yes. total, right? Tried 201. No, 97. If he did 200, I think it was in a local meet. Uh, let me look. Well, you know, as far as I'm concerned, local meets don't count. Okay. He's tried 200. Yeah. So 97 is his competition best. Yes. But, you know, you may not get there, especially after tweaking something in the snatch. That's right. All right, so now here's Ferrin. 187 kilos, second attempt. And this would extend his lead. So 88 would be the right call to go ahead and clean your for Damron. That's another routine clean and jerk. Good lift. Let's take a look at this again. Good patience in the bottom. Ah, uh, they're still at the board. I believe that they might be. They moved them I think they moved them. Did they move them to 90? Yes, indeed. Yes, they did. Okay. That's a smart move. It gives them a little bit more rest, and then it puts it puts them in a mix to go up ahead of the Ecuadorian on a third scene. So 90 is a, is a popular number here. I'm wondering if we're going to see some changes. I'm not sure right now. 90 is loaded. I don't see much action in the doorway for Mason Arias. And let's remind everybody that our friend Colin Burns has a four kilo lead. He is ahead by three kilos, but somebody... But somebody four. Somebody needs to go ahead of him by one point. So, like we mentioned earlier, building a lead in the snatch was going to be of utmost importance as some of these South American lifters have really, really strong clean and jerks. Yeah, I felt like five kilos would be, five or more kilos would be a runaway, less than that. It's a, game, a ball game. And I think we've got a game. I think we're in a ball game. All we're right, in a so dogfight, as they would say. <laughs> he is. Yes, Arias, Venezuela, first attempt, 
190 kilos. Does he power move. clean this? <laughs> this will move him into the lead. Oof. Yikes. Wow. That so that Making locks up sure. a big chunk of points. He obviously goes into first place with that on the total. But Burns at 91 has a strategic and mathematical advantage because he is now what I like to call behind on the cards. He is going last despite the higher lot number. With one uh, until I just looked up, that was correct. Yes, but... Uh, Victor Quinones of Cuba just moved up. has also moved to 91, but don't forget, Quinones is behind with a 166 snatch will need yeah. a full four kilos to get ahead of Burns. So that 91 was the was the start number originally put there. Ended up being a very strategic smart move. Yes. All right, now Machado, who I think is going to have a tougher time in the clean here. Beautiful lockout. So good lift. Machado is in this thing, but that 170 miss is going to prove very costly, I think, in terms of his prospects for yeah. winning an overall gold medal. And when you're a six foot eight, 94 kilo lifter, it's gonna, it's. I mean, those arms. All right. So now 190 is the weight called for the third attempt of Rigoberto. And I just noticed Damron takes the eight kilo jump, so the knee must be feeling good. Damron up to 92. So, I am going to agree with that call because you've done your job for Team USA. You've cleaned your jerk 197. Do whatever you want. Let, no, not do whatever. Let's go for some medals. All right. Let's go for 92 would be a medal. 92 would be a medal. Potentially. Yeah. All right, so now here's Rigoberto Perez, third and final attempt. He has made both of his opening and his second attempt clean and jerk. Five kilo jump. A little wiggle, but I think they're going to give it to him. And they do. Three white lights. And that moves him into fourth, fourth place. Overall, 300. And Damron, that's, so that's the number. Well, so that's Damron the number to, to catch. 37. Yep. And what's he at? 34? Yes. Yeah. So with the next clean jerk, he will be. Ahead. All right. Our leader here in the snatch. Looks like they're going to take this 91. I think this is a smart move. Get one in. And it would start. force uh, Quinones to like 90 what, 96. Yeah. Four kilos ahead. Five. He's got to win by. By one. Right. So he was up. He was behind. No, six. You're right. He was four 95, plus one. Yeah. Which is what Quinones, or I'm sorry, Machado has put in. Interesting. Quinones won't move until after he sees the outcome of this lift. If Colin misses, Quinones will burn his two-minute clock most likely. Or he takes 91 and gambles on the second. I think at this point, they can get one in. All right, so now here's Burns' first attempt, 191 kilos. Strong clean. That's a big lift, wow. JP. All That's right, a we've big seen lift. in the past the jerk can sometimes be an adventure for yep. Colin Burns, but not on that attempt. That was absolutely perfect. A great clean, moving the knees back. Strong, nice rebound. Yep. A good rhythm and good set. So all the times you got to rush the opening jerk. He really did a good job of wait until he was set, and then was really stable overhead. Just perfect. All right, now Victor Quinones. He's going to get one in. And he's going to hit this 191. So Quinones would have to do five more kilos. No, four more kilos. Four more. 66 Still to at four. 69. Right. And Damron is next. And Don't Damron. forget about Machado either. Ferrin, who has another attempt, has got a lot of ground to make up. So here's Quinones, 191. Ooh, rocking him back on the heel. Wow. <laughs> Holy smokes.
Another good example of patience. Uh oh, after wait, he got the down signal. That might still be okay. It is. You saw yeah. that little movement there. But Let's see that again the from the signal. front. That was after the down signal. That was a good lift. I actually looked away once the down signal. Yeah. Once I heard the down signal. I was looking at the board. Kinyona's great job of stabilizing, Saving. readjusting, and standing up. And when this break oh, yeah. happens, he had yeah. already gotten the down. All right, so now Nathan Damron. Big lift. Puts him in first place in the cleaning jerk, and I think it puts him up three spots in the total. I think he would go to fourth. Sixth. Sixth. Fifth in total, I'm sorry. Fifth. So give him 342. Wow, good clean. Even better jerk. He's on a roll. Three He's red on. lights. Three red lights. Oscillation. What? Let's see it from the front. That's such a strong clean. There was no elbow bend. There's no, and there was no rebend. I think they called him on oscillation. See that? Maybe, oh, maybe the right arm. God, that is a tough call. Yikes. Wow. And you know, the oscillation rule is very subjective. It's like the unless around you, the horn. Yeah, unless like you, you create really it, that. you recreate the oscillation. You but can't be punished on for the brink of it. I, yeah. I, maybe the press out. I, he did I, readjust once and twice, but I don't know if that's enough to say that you caused the bar to move more than it was already running. Man. Mary Peck's bar moves on the jerk, and All right. you know. Here's Ferret, 192 kilos, third attempt. If successful, this will move him into first in the clean and jerk, but fourth in the total. I think Damron goes up to 95. Let's see what total he has to beat. He goes to first Jared. in the clean and jerk. Three for three in the clean and jerk. 348 kilo total. Five for six on the day. And that was a lift. Tamron moving up at least a kilo now. Just announced at 193. What does that do for him, Kevin? I can't see the board. He's at 320. Moves him into sixth. He's at 334 in sixth place, and one more point is 345. No, this doesn't. Moves him to 343. Overall sixth. No, overall. If successful. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was just for a little bit more rest. Yep. Everybody else on their second attempt is looking for 195 at the moment. Well, we know he can clean it because that last one was really good. Back on his heels. That bar is moving, but he's not making it move. Yeah, he is a little bit. Okay. Much better That's jerk. That's solid. That is it. Please. If they're red, it's oscillation. Yes. If not, no. good lift. So it was an oscillation. It was a little. Press out. Yep, it did. Tough to see because he does have some wanky elbows um, that don't you don't can't really see the lockout. Oof. Tough. Man, good save. That tough, one. tough, tough. But hey, good for Nathan Damron. Get back on the platform, Glad albeit not his best day. Three for six. Far better than Nationals. Looks like he's back in shape yeah, he is. and making a push. Now. I don't that was think really that an unfortunate no yeah. lift on the second attempt there. Glad to see he was all right. No hesitation, no hobbling, no no signs of injury. And either. if and if it does cost us anything, it's one point. Yep. He did his job. Yep. All right. Now, Jason Arias. Scoring 60 points for Team USA. And also 
JP, that puts him in first place in the clean and jerk. So that, For the moment, you know, that's correct. You never know what can happen. Arias has done 95 in the past. He did it last year in Colombia. He looks like he's in a little bit better shape than last year. Because there was no doubt about that jerk. Well, this 195 was good for a bronze medal in the clean and jerk last year in Cartagena. It won't be enough for a bronze medal here, but he has much more in the tank. This is something. Not to be a negative, Nancy, but somebody's going to miss 95 and force a bump somewhere. Take a look at the scoreboard here. So the big question, JP, is does Colin Burns go up a kilo and chip and, sort of and, chip and, away? and, and go ahead by one kilo in the cleaner jerk to maintain that lead and add a kilo? He's currently sitting on 195. We will find out right now. Marco Machado, Brazil, second attempt. This will move Machado into the lead. As it is four more kilos than Collins' opening clean and jerk. Done. Better wow. than the first one, JP. <laughs> so you have a choice here. Oh, do you gamble or do you just keep building on that lead that you got in the snatch? I think the it answer looks, is you build. I, yes. What an effort here by Machado. So two things, JP. The lifting order will benefit Colin as in he that, is going if he second. Goes out, right. Yep. Um, it will only hurt him with the Cuban. Oh, it's moved up. well, that's smart. It, put, it puts you in a better position in lifting order. Remember, if the weight is the same, the lifting order is determined by Lower when. Start it, yes, exactly. Or when you when you opened, yep. and he opened last. Yep. Right. So it it reverses the lot number disadvantage because he is the highest lot number of whoever's still lifting. Correct. So basically on this second lift, by moving up a kilo, he flips the script and now is in position to go last every time. But the game will play on. And right now, Victor Quinones at 196 will move ahead in the total. The leader currently is 361. If Quinones makes this, this will give him 360. Two. So I am a. Ooh, they moved to 97. Burns is going to play the high game. He's going to drop in if he needs to. Why not? Uh oh. And somebody cracked. There was a miss. So I would say the only thing, we shot the gun a little too, too early. early. But there is another 196, and hopefully Machado, the Brazilian. Machado will, will shoot hopefully that the bullet for yep, us. There we go. See, again, uh, you know, I got to hand it to you, or to us in the back there, or USA coaches in the back. Yeah. That's the right play. They saw that the Brazilian was sitting on the... So we didn't burn a change. Exactly. And then we still go after the Brazilians, and they're down one change and on third attempt. And there's the move. So now Quinones is back on a one-minute clock with 196 to lift that he I think he's going to go up. You think he's going to go up? I think he's going to go up. There's no way you fall on your butt with 196 and come back in a... 30 They're seconds. They're debating it. They are definitely Well, they have 20 it. seconds, and all three Cuban coaches are there, and no. They're going to let him come out. So the strategy from the Brazilians. So what this will do, if you are Machado, Burns, and Arias. Arias is also very much in this thing. If you are those guys, you are saying thank you, I think, to Quinones for coming out with this 196. I don't think this clock. is a good move. Really hard to take a max attempt. Quinones has a lot of experience. He has done 196, so this is a personal best for him. He's done 195. Last year, I'm sorry, yeah. on Quinones, he did 196. He cleaned it. No. You know, JP, I got to think that, especially if he cleaned it, that trying to take a personal record attempt twice in one minute. And that's a short turn, you know, yeah. And with no strategic advantage whatsoever. You do go into first place, but if one kilo buys you three minutes. You take it. You take it because you're battling, you know, you're battling it out for, for points and a medal. 
So, so this now, puts Burns in first. And very much in the driver's seat because he is on his second attempt here. And everybody else on third, and this would build the lead. And they'll have to come back and beat him by, you know, four kilos. So this is No, a, more than four kilos, JP. Six kilos. Right. But this is a pivotal lift. Thank you. This is a pivotal lift for Burns. He will be very, very tough to beat if he makes this. He has done 198 in competition. Good clean. You saw a little choke out there, a little, you saw yeah. it on the dip. He kind of rocked forward on the dip. Uh, so what that you do here for door. everybody coaching at home, you declare the 197. It buys you 90 seconds. Take a look at him here. Watch the dip, the hesitation on the dip. You see mm. that he was maybe losing it. He just was losing it right there. Yeah. And that dip was forward. But you give your, your athlete as much rest as possible. You declare. You declare early on the first 30 second clock. But do you, you go to 98? You know, you, you've He's locked. He's not in the lead. He's not in but the lead you've right. locked up a medal. He's in second place. Yes. At, you, at worst, you've won one medal and you've scored 62 points for Team USA. So do you repeat? If. Did you repeat? Now, 198 is one kilo. It ties his best but it buys you that crucial extra minute and forces the other person to make the change. So I think that's what they're probably talking about. Colin is in great shape. Um, so I always think that the minute may be worth the kilo because then you could take it down all the way to 31 seconds, make the change. They have to change the weight. Then the new one minute, then the other lifter is called, and then you get another minute. So it doesn't look, but he looks like he wants to take this again. If successful, this will move Colin into the lead. He missed this 197 on his second attempt. He doesn't look too shaken. So if he can catch it better. And that will force the hand of the other lifters who have both one attempt remaining. So. Ethan can catch the clean a little bit better, JP. His this jerk was solid on the first one. This is a huge lift for Burns, a potential gold medal if he makes it. Another good clean. Another good clean. Doesn't look like he's rocking. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Sorry, I just hit you so hard. That's that is okay. exciting. Ke Colin How about Burns. that? What a bunch that of toughness. That was awesome. <laughs> Big smiles all the round in the two back. Minute clock. A ton. <laughs> Can hit me all you want. Oh man. That so, is a clutch. Go back to the strategic advantage, right? You you didn't gamble in the stance. You build the lead, and now you are forcing everybody else. If my math is correct, For, you got to get them. Oh, they have to get to 367. So that's. Is he in there with a 366? Yep. So we have Arius, 361. Arius is really not in play. Because he has a 351. He's got too much ground to make up. But if Arius is successful here, Payson Arias is taking a lift that could potentially give him a gold medal in, in the, the clean and jerk. This will not make the podium in total. This will put him in fourth place. They're taking a weight at 200 that they believe he can make. And, and they're going to let it ride from in there. In 95. And this will come down to Marco Machado. The six foot eight Brazilian. Just Isn't like Summer the League going on in the UNLV? Las Vegas Summer League? Just like in the snatch, but right now we've got Jason Arias. He drills this, JP. <laughs> he drills it. Ah. And wait for the jerk. What I tell He drills it, Kevin. Got to get those feet. I told you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 200 oh. kilos for Jason Arias. Just a little tune-up before the Miami Dolphin training Just camp. Just watch this. 
Hey, for the 49er coaches watching at home, we need a middle linebacker. What an adjustment. So there the oscillation is caused by the clean and jerk and by not... By the movement. He wasn't deliberately he, putting exactly. anything into that, but he rode that perfectly. So all right. This is it. This is for all the marbles. Marco Machado in the snatch had the opportunity to take gold with a 170. He missed it right now. 201 kilos, if he is successful, will win gold in the clean and jerk and in the total over Colin Burns. No. You hate to root against somebody, but congratulations, Colin Burns. You're 2,000. 17 Pan American champion and a whole lot of points for Team USA. And 28 and kudos to Burns for delivering on yep. that third attempt. And great job jerk. with the coaches in the back for trusting. Machado here gave it all he had and he was just short. And good job for Nathan Damron getting back on the on on the on the on the saddle so to speak, putting it into total. Boom. All right, so that will wrap up lifting here in day four yep. of the Pan 2017 Pan American Championship. Four days down, one to go. Women's 90 kilo tomorrow, men's 105 and men's 105.